What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. So I've been using the Pixel 4a as my main phone for about two weeks now and every time I take a picture with it I'm quite impressed by the picture quality from this phone, mostly considering that this is a phone that you can buy for about $350. So I figured why not do a camera comparison between the Pixel 4a and the latest phone from Samsung, so the Samsung Galaxy Note 20, a phone that's about a thousand dollars, so about three times more expensive than the Pixel 4a. Now the camera systems on the back of these two devices are very different of course because on the back of the Note 20 we have three cameras, we have the main camera, we have an ultra wide lens and of course a telephoto lens, where on the back of the Pixel 4a we just have one camera, so obviously I'm not going to be showing you any pictures taken with the ultra wide lenses because well there is no ultra wide lens on the back of the Pixel 4a. Now just in case you're wondering all the pictures were taken on auto mode and about a second apart from each other. Alright so first I looked at some portrait mode pictures that I took with both devices and the first thing I've noticed was the fact that the edge detection around the subject was better from the pictures taken by the Note 20. Now aside from the edge detection I personally prefer the colors and everything else from the pictures taken by the Pixel 4a. The pictures taken by the Note 20 almost have like a filter over skin basically because the skin um, on the subject becomes super smooth. So I'm not a big fan of that uh, skin smoothing effect that we get from the Note 20. So I would say that for portrait mode pictures even though the edge detection was better from the Note 20, the Pixel 4a does better. Moving on to some zoom pictures and here I've done five times zoom, well here of course the Note 20 does better because it has um, a telephoto lens where on the back of the Pixel 4a we don't have a telephoto lens. So all the pictures are basically digital zoom from the Pixel 4a where the Note 20 gets like a combination of um, optical and digital zoom. So here for um, the five times zoom pictures that I took of course all the pictures are better and sharper from the Note 20. As for all the other pictures, so pictures taken with the main lenses on the back of these two devices, um, the first thing I've noticed was the fact that um, the Pixel 4a retains the original color, so the colors that I was seeing with my own eyes are much um, closer um, from the pictures that um, I was taking with the Pixel 4a. The Note 20 has more vibrant and more saturated colors, but a lot of people may actually prefer those uh, more saturated colors. Now another thing I've noticed is the fact that the dynamic range is also better in most pictures taken by the Note 20, unless the pictures are just overexposed because some of them do seem a bit uh, too bright. So if I would have to choose one of these two phones I would personally choose the Pixel 4a for um, pictures taken with the main lens, but um, definitely check out the pictures that um, I'm showing you on the screen here and let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer for um, pictures taken with the main lens. And we are moving on to nighttime pictures and for all the nighttime pictures that you are about to see I use the night modes on both devices, so the Pixel 4a and the Note 20 have a night mode. Alright so looking at these pictures, the first thing I've noticed is the fact that most pictures taken by the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 are a bit sharper. Now for color accuracy I personally prefer the pictures from the 4a. But um, then if you look closer at some of those pictures you're also going to notice that um, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 handles um, the lights in those buildings uh, much better than uh, the Pixel 4a. So for nighttime pictures I feel that the Samsung Galaxy Note um, 20 does better, but does it do three times better? Well I don't think it does three times better, but definitely a bit better than the Pixel 4a. So what do you guys think, which pictures do you prefer for nighttime pictures, the pictures taken from the Pixel 4a or the Samsung Galaxy Note 20? Next we are going to check out some sample um, video recordings and I have to say that I was expecting that the Note 20 would do much better than the Pixel 4a, but no the difference isn't that big. Still I feel that the, the Note 20 does a bit better for image stabilization and maybe the videos are a bit sharper and also the colors a bit more saturated. But yes, I was um, expecting that the Note 20 would actually do much better than the Pixel 4a. 
Now, of course, the Note 20 can also do 4K at 60 frames per second, can even record in 8K, something that the Pixel um, 4a cannot do. So this one you can only do 4K at 30 frames per second. Oh, and I was also surprised to see that the sound um, recordings from the Pixel 4a were better. And with that being said, let's check out those um, recordings and I will be right back. All right, we have a quick recording between the Pixel 4a and the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. For this recording, I'm using the main lenses on the back of these two devices and I'm recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. Now, aside from my voice, you're probably gonna hear some traffic. There is a street to my right. So, a bunch of motorcycles passing by, so you're probably gonna hear that um, as well. So this is how a recording in 4K 30 frames per second between uh, the Note 20 and the Pixel 4a would look like. For our next recording I'm gonna do a bit of walking so you can see which device has better image stabilization. Those are some bikes uh, behind me so that's why um, all the noise. So uh, for this recording I'm doing 4K at 30 frames per second. I guess we'll just walk up these stairs here. So yeah, this is how the image stabilization would work um, on the Pixel 4a and the Samsung Galaxy Note 20. Alright, next we are moving on to a quick recording between the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Pixel 4a um, at night, as you can probably see. For this recording I'm using the main lenses on the back of these two devices and of course I am recording in 4K at 30 frames per second. So we'll walk this way, we'll uh, go towards that church where it uh, looks a bit darker. So you can see which phone does uh, better. From what I'm seeing on the screens here, um, I think the Pixel 4a does a bit better, but again, we'll have to see how this footage actually looks on the computer. So we'll stop somewhere around here and we'll pan left slowly and back right. So yeah. This whole recording in low light between the Pixel 4a and the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 would look like. So what do you think? Not that much um, of a difference for video recordings between the Note 20 and the Pixel 4a. Kind of unexpected. Alright, and next we are moving on to selfies. And first we are going to check out some daytime selfies. Now for the daytime selfies I feel that the Pixel 4a does better because um, it actually retains um, the way that our faces look like. With the pictures taken by the Note 20, there is almost like a filter, like a skin smoothing filter on all those selfies, so the selfies don't look that great. As for nighttime selfies, well, both devices have a night mode for selfies, but I feel that the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 does a bit better for those um, selfies in low light. But once again, check out the pictures that um, I've just showed you and um, let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer. So this one is $1,000, this one is $350. Um, I feel that for $350 the Pixel 4a does extremely good. Yes, the Note 20 does better in um, some situations, but once again, for the price, I don't think you can go wrong um, with the Pixel 4a. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, don't forget to press that like button, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.